So now to move on to interpreting the motor speech exam, remember that the purpose of that was to look at that child's ability to sequence movement gestures for phonetic sequences in this hierarchy, hierarchy of uh, words that vary with a vowel content, syllable shape, length, and complexity. Uh, we said that we did this because it allows us to observe behaviors associated with a particular label. In this case, in the context of the motor speech exam, did we observe behaviors that we associate with that label, such as distortion, timing errors, uh, equal stress, segmentation, inconsistency across repeated tries, etc. And we said that if we made it dynamic, we're going to have a much better idea of severity and prognosis. It's going to help us in determining our initial targets. And it's really going to help us with initial clinical decisions regarding uh, not just this initial training stimuli, but how we organize practice and provide feedback. So let's look at an example of a child with very severe impairment. This is similar to the child we've been talking about in this course. So this is a dynamic assessment. So we looked at the vowel production, and a two is correct. So he correctly said ma with a two, a four, and he was consistent. If I repeated it, say it again, ma, he could do it exactly the same way. But as you'll see on most of these items here, uh, he's not producing the vowel correctly, or he is distorting it mildly for me, hi, uh, go, and baby. He does get the vowel correct in up, mommy, and uh-oh, and that's because that initial, we always um, score the uh, stress syllable, the vowel and the stress syllable, uh, are more uh, likely to be able to be produced by him because they're kind of in his bailiwick. Uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um, you notice under accuracy, there's really only uh, one that he gets the first time and two others he was able to get after quite a bit of cueing. He's inconsistent over, remote, over most of the trials in a couple of cases because he eventually gets it right, but also because the way he said it wrong varied with each trial. And that's very common in childhood apraxia of speech. We were able to judge the prosody only in the final three words. And in his case, he got zeros or, or wrong because of segmentation and equal stress. <laughs>